it's going to be all right. Why won't they tell us what's happening? Ken. Sorry, I was at a conference in London. I came as soon as I heard. How is he? I don't know. He's with the doctors now. Mrs. Marchant. How is he? James has had a very severe attack of croup. Croup? But well, that isn't usually serious. Not usually, no. It is extremely rare for the attack to be this severe. We've intubated him, and hopefully he'll start responding to the drugs. But he is going to be all right? Most children with this illness do survive. Most? I promise you, we are doing everything we can. What's the will reading today? Sure you don't want me to come with you? No, Laura's going to drive me there. I'll be fine. She had a real nerve yesterday with Ned. Yeah. I must say, I find her a bit daunting. So, no regrets? No. I meant every word I said last night. You know, it isn't going to be easy. Ned isn't the only one who'll have something to say about us. Stuff them. I don't care. They can say what they like. I love you. Can you move the car? You're blocking me in. In a minute. I said now. It's OK. Better get ready. Laura will be here soon. What's the rush? I need to go to the hospital. Oh, finally found a heart for you, have they? Zoe's just rung. James is ill. As if you care. He's my brother. And for your information, he's seriously ill. So move the car now. You like my mum always having a go at me? Will you just tell me what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Don't lie. He's not in the office. What's odd? It's nine o'clock. Why won't you believe me when I tell you there's nothing wrong? At last. Sorry, I'm late. Chris had to go out. How are you, gorgeous? You missed me? Not since yesterday, no. Oh, ain't you sweet? You love me, really. So, what am I doing? Only I'm not cleaning the bogs because I did them yesterday. No, you didn't. I did. Me and Kirsty will do them if you want. Or do I have to work with her? No, you can uh, go with Paulette if you want. What about me? I'm not bothered. Go with Lynn or Dean. That's not a good idea. Why not? She fancies you. No, I don't. Here you go. Here you go. You sort it out. You're pathetic. Told you. She's just playing hard to get. She's such a gobby cow. Oh, I like her. I think she's a laugh. Unlike you. Kirsty, I'm worried about you, that's all. I told you, I'm getting the food for a mate. Well, Donna says she didn't know anything about this mate. She says you don't even know anyone in her class. Well, like she'd know. Just stop getting at me, will you? I'm all right. Makes you think, doesn't it, if it was your kid? Yeah. Did Viv say what was wrong with James? She wasn't sure. So what do you think I should wear for this rugby do tonight? Is it posh frocks or cocktail dresses? Oh, all set for your trial? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I might come and cheer you along. Hey, don't want any distractions. <laughs> stop worrying, Terry. You're worse than my dad. He didn't let me get this rugby dinner tonight. Well, the night before your trial? No chance. Now, I want you safely tucked up in bed on your own, that is. Unlike yourself. Watch it. Yeah. I'm just keeping an old man happy. Aye, yeah, very happy. Oh, I'm very old. Oh. <laughs> you mind? Oh. Only I have a pub to run. Oh. <laughs> Get a move on, will you? Lisa will be back from the post office in a minute. Why can't we just stash these in our barn? Ah, oh, the rot there. What about my room then? No, the rot there, I know. Dad, I don't understand why we can't just tell Mandy we've got these gloves. I... Well, we don't want to know him where she got them from. She got them from us. I thought that was the idea, you know, we scratch her back and... Yeah, and she'll stab at us if she knows it's knocked off gear. All we've got to do is hang on to them for a few weeks, just until the happy campers have cleared off. Then we give her the claws. Anyway. <laughs> oh, what are you two doing here? Oh, Lisa, my flower. Wasn't expecting you back so soon. Oh, I can see that. How do you fancy a pint with your old man? My treat. Oh, go on then. You persuaded me. Hey. Mandy, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm going to a cab. Who said I need the van? Oh, sorry, it's, it's broken down. Oh. oh, lucky you got me then. No, there's no need. Don't be daft. 
I'll soon look at it for you. Uncle Zach, what have you done? What is it? Look, oh, you've been collecting clothes. You shouldn't have. <laughs> I can't bear this. There's David. No, James. James has got a good chance. Hello, Kim. Chris. I just want you to know if there's anything I can do then. Yeah, thanks. I brought you these. I don't want anything. Kim, you've got to eat. I'm not hungry. At least get some rest. You've been up all night. I can stop with James. I'm not leaving him with you. What? He's my son, not yours. If it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened. Kim, that's not true. I did everything I could. He was ill. You didn't even notice. Kim, please. If you hadn't lost all our money, he'd be properly looked after. Why didn't you realise? This is your fault. You did this to him. I think Roy's cute. Roy? Yeah, what's wrong with him? Well, it's Roy, isn't it? I mean, he's just, well, Roy. Kirsty likes him. You don't. I thought you said to me he was ugly. Kirsty fancies Will, not Roy. Will? You'll have to get out of white socks first. Never mind, darling, you'll get over it. I've got to go. Paddy's on his end of the surgery. Yeah, of course. Okay. Is she right? What if I am to blame? Of course you're not. Children get ill all the time. It's, it's just something that happens. James should have been cared for properly. He was. You're a good dad to him, Steve. I had no idea you've said anything to me. Well, they probably wasn't expecting to go so soon. Nobody does in my experience. Oh, how could this have happened? Look, could you stay on a few more days while I work out what to do? There are plenty of rooms here. Yes, I thought you might ask me. I've already spoken to the office. It's okay by then. Oh, right. Look, I know this has come as a bit of a shock, but you are going to have to start thinking about what you want to do very soon. Uh, I want to talk to Biff before I decide anything. What am I going to say to him? Absolutely nothing. But he has a right to know. Lady Oakwell, it's imperative you don't say a word to anybody until we're sure of the legal position. Everything OK? Look, we have a few things we need to discuss. Fine. I'll uh, leave you to it, then. What? Are you sure you're OK? Hmm. Fine. Absolutely fine. Oh, will you talk to her? I give up. She's your mate. Are you okay? I'm just sick of everyone having a go at me. Take no notice of Paulette. She's just showing off. She's jealous. Of me? Yeah, right. Like, I've got such a great life. It's all right for you. Jack and Sarah let you do what you like. Suit yourself. Get a move on, will you? Charlie 12 needs doing. And Paulette thinks he's cute. Do you work here? But only one that does, yeah. <laughs> only I'm leaving tomorrow, so I was wondering when I could get my dry cleaning back. What dry cleaning? The dry cleaning I gave to those two men. Oh. The two men that were here yesterday. No, I gave them my suede coat. You gave me a coat? Yeah. Look, it's worth over 200 pounds. I don't want to leave it here. So you give two men a coat worth over 200 quid? Yeah. Why? Is there a problem? Well, there might be a bit of a mix-up. Yeah, we don't even do dry cleaning.
His chest is getting clearer. I'll be back to check on him later. He didn't seem that ill yesterday. Oh, if only I'd stayed at home. You mustn't blame yourselves. If your husband hadn't acted so promptly, it could have been much worse. Well, you heard what he said. This isn't Steve's fault. When I left James yesterday, all he had was a cough. Now he's in here. He is seriously ill, and you're telling me that it isn't anybody's fault? Yes. After the plane crash, I wanted there to be a reason, some explanation for why it had happened, but just somebody to blame. That was an accident. Nobody could have done anything about it. But what happened afterwards wasn't. You have to learn to accept that it's nobody's fault. Otherwise, you drive people away. I let my marriage fall apart. I destroyed my family. It isn't worth it, Kim. The only thing I care about right now is my son. Oh, that isn't true. I know you. You could have got rid of Steve a long time ago. I think you love him very much. Your husband brought this in from home. He's in the waiting area. Thanks. Talk to him, Kim. Are you accusing us? All I'm saying is somebody's been taking clothes to dry clean. Why didn't you ask her? She knows all about stealing. Oh, don't be stupid. It isn't Paulette. Isn't what? Ryan thinks somebody's been nicking clothes. You blaming me? Would you not shut up for one minute? All I want to know if anyone's seen these dry cleaning blokes. Oh, why didn't you say? And you should have something to do with it. I saw them. I thought they weren't here. Oh. Two lard asses, one with a beard and one with ginger hair. brought that from home. I thought you might like it. Thanks. I'm sorry. So am I. I didn't mean everything I said. I was angry with myself, not you. I don't blame you. If I'd have been the ideal parent or husband. You used to be so good. You and me. Now we can't stop arguing over James's sick bed. What's happened to us, Steve? I don't know. I just feel so guilty. All the time I spent working on the business, I hardly thought about James. Things will be different when this is over. Start being a proper family. As soon as James is better. What if he doesn't get better? What if he... I love him so much. I know. I'll be back first thing in the morning. Oh, sorry, I thought you'd gone. That's OK, we finished you for the day. Right, I'll see you in the morning. And remember, no business talk tonight. You need a break. I've missed you. Mm, not now, Biff. What's up? Nothing. Has somebody said anything to you about us? No. Well, something's up. Please. I'm tired. I've had a long day. Sorry. I, uh, I never thought. Hey, come on, cheer up. You still not me, you know. Come on, that's it. Where are you going? I'm going to take you back home for something to eat, then I'm going to take you for a drink. Well, I'm not sure. Hey, it'll cheer you up. Besides, I want to show you off. Biff. What? Nothing. It's nothing. I love you. It's 
spiritual. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. I'm going to have the wine bar if you fancy coming. I'm too young, aren't I? It gets better, you know. What? Life. Hey, don't listen to Paula. She's an idiot. Anyway, you'll be off clubbing and grabbing yourself a lad before you know it. It's not just that. What is it then? Does my hair look okay? Oh, gorgeous. You don't think it's over the top? What is it with women? You look grey, don't you, Kirsty? Yeah. Right, well, we'd better be off. Don't want to be late. You'll have to get your own tea. I haven't had time. What's new? And there's Chris and chocolate in the cupboard. Any problems, see Alan. He'll have to sort you out. See ya. Yeah. I get the going to. Sure you don't want to come? Yeah, I'll be all right. All right, then. See ya. If the coppers catch her. Yeah. Uh, don't you think you should hang on a bit first, eh? Check the quality. Well, I don't need to, it's top quality stuff. Anyway, where did you get it from? Uh, a car boot sale in Skipdale. <laughs> they must be rich or stupid to get rid of this. <laughs> what do you think? No, no, it, uh, it don't suit you, lass. It, it's too bright. It's black. Huh? Butch, get in here. Uh, where are you going? Uh, pigs need feeding. Oh, no, you're coming with me. Uh, Mandy, love, uh, it's getting late. Shouldn't you be shutting up? Nice jacket, Liz. Do you like it? It's one of Mandy's new stock. Aye. Clean, is it? Of course it is, your cheeky pillock. It's top quality gear. Only I've just spent all my afternoon sorting out our uh, holiday makers. Seems we've had a couple of dry cleaners down there. Only they seem to have forgot to return the clothes. You what? How would it they described them now? Oh, yeah, that's it. Two lard asses, one with ginger hair and one with a beard. Oh, Zach, you haven't. Is this knockoff? No, no, Mandy, I can explain. You could have had a place onto ah. us! Yeah, well, we still will have if you don't get this lot returned by end of tomorrow. Dry cleaned. It's dead in here tonight. She'll stay at home with Kirsty. You know, she's been right moody lately. Probably all not. <laughs> I implore you to cook. I don't want the customers seeing you out here. Go on. What? What customers? It might pick up. Go on. Out you get. You're underage. You shouldn't be in here. That's not what it said in the advert. I'll see you later. That flaming advert. Kathy, they're only promoting the tea room. Hey, she as good as said that I served underage drinkers. You did? Oh, face it, Eric. This place is sinking faster than the Bismarck. Sell up, Eric. Get out of here. Take your money and retire somewhere. Somewhere without an extradition treaty. This is my home. I am not moving. Even your own partner, Eric, should sell, Eric. Be happy. Get out of here. Get a life. Don't you think you deserve it? You know, he actually seems to enjoy making my life a misery. I'm beginning to think he might be a bit disturbed. Oh, yeah. He's got some redeeming features. Name one. Um. <coughs> Well, it's very good for my business. Oh, bully for you. Sometimes I think I could almost kill him. Hi. Have you heard about little James Tate? Yes. Yes, it must be terrible for him. It's James who I feel sorry for. Imagine having her as your mother. Can you see Kim potty training? But it was neglect. Mm. I'm sorry, Viv. Uh, what was that about, baby James? He's seriously in the hospital, didn't you know? No. Yeah, well, I were lucky with Roy that found out and not Chris. Oh, throttling. Don't bother. They'll be suffering. They've got to work out how to clean them clothes. Oi, now then. Why don't you tell me? Well, you always said James of Franks, didn't you? And there's not to do with us. I wonder if it isn't. That could be my grandson laid in hospital there. Oh, blimey, look who's here. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. We'll be all right. Pint of lager and a G&T, please, Alan. I don't believe this. 
Would be Terry's night off. You've got a cheek, haven't you? Bev, come on, you of all people, after how you went on about Kim and Dave Glover, you hypocrite. Take it from me, love. Kelly will tell you. There's not much mileage in him. Perhaps we should leave. So much you get in then, eh? Or the overtime, I mean. Oi, leave it. Come on. Stop it, Ned. It's trouble. I told you. All right, you've lot. You've had your say. Now you're going to have to listen to me. Please, Biff, don't. I know that you're having a go at me. Well, don't bother. You don't like me and Tara. Well, that's tough. We're together. We love each other, OK? Sorry. I forgot. I'm happy. And that's a crime round here, isn't it? Are you in there? Are you? What are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> I could have died when that bloke called you the winged wonder of Farsley. <laughs> I was the winged wonder. Hey, what, are you saying I'm going bald? No. Looks all there to me. No. <laughs> <coughs> Don't mind me. I've just been locking up. Mm. Everything all right tonight, Al? It's <laughs> nothing unusual. Uh, Viv accused Kim Tate of neglect. Kathy wants to murder Eric. <laughs> oh, and Biff announced that uh, he's in love with Lady Tara. Oh. How was your evening? <laughs> Great. I thought we were going to be full of old duffers, but they're a right nice bunch of people. You should go to one. You'd enjoy it. Mm. Old duffer like me. I don't think so. No, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Good night, Al. <laughs> <laughs> He's got such a face on him. <laughs> hey, shh. Wake up the girl. Oh, they're used to it. Another drink and I'll, I'll treat you to my party piece. <laughs> hey, I can see there's only one way I can shut you up. <laughs> mm. Oh, thanks, Terry. Plenty more where that came from. I don't mean that. It's turned out OK here, hasn't it? Me and the girls. We're getting by all right. What's all this? And this? I was hungry. Have you eaten all this lot? Have you? Yeah. No. I don't know. I don't realise. How long's this been going on? What? Kirsty, have you seen this lot? It's enough to feed an army. You'd be chucking stone by now. You've been making yourself sick, haven't you? Stop it, you're frightening me. Haven't you? Leave me alone. First it, you're ill. You're really ill. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you bulimic? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Look, you need to get some help. No, I don't. Kirsty, it kills people. You can die from it. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Mm. 